Hey guys, here in uh, Kentucky, I just crossed the state line into Kentucky, it's the first rest area in Kentucky, it's under construction right now, so uh, don't really have a rest area, but that's alright. I've gotten a lot of, or uh, a couple people have asked me to show you what I drive, although you truckers already know what I drive, you know what a 2020 Cascadia looks like, but for those who are not truck drivers, turn the camera around. This is my truck. I work for Swift Transportation. They're a great company, no matter what the naysayers may say. It's a good running truck. That's where my spare tire is, my fuel tank, my air brakes and the electrical cord to give the trailer its lights. Anyway, so this is what my truck looks like. On the front. And down that side. All right, so now we're gonna go inside the truck, start cooking, see you in a minute. Okay, so tonight we're going to have some meatloaf, mashed potatoes, biscuits, and can of peas. Can of peas, please. Anyway, I'm um, preheating my convection oven. I'm getting ready to put the biscuits in. A shot of that. Here the biscuits are. There's my convection oven. Love this thing right here. It gets things done so quickly. And then I'm going to start preparing the meatloaf. I've already gotten some of the ingredients in the bowl. Um, cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, chopped onion, minced garlic, garlic powder, and uh, salt and pepper. So then I've just got to add egg, breadcrumbs, and the meat, the burger. And I'll do that here in just a few minutes. And I'll be right back. All right, I've got all the ingredients. And now I just have to mix everything together. Once I do that, I'm going to put them in these two little tins. Canopies. And we're going to go from there. Hang on just a second. Alright. So, trying to do this holding the camera in one hand. Trying to do this one-handed. I'm gonna just mix everything together the best I can with one hand. It will come together here in a minute. Oh yeah. Hope everybody had a good day. And I do like bigger onions because I like the crunch of them when when you bite into it all right so it's I just got to form it a little bit better and I'll be back in just a minute all right so I've gone ahead and put in the uh, put the meat into the loaf pans this is a mixture one I've got I put too much on that one so I only had that much left for that one and that's okay it'll still be good uh, that is a mixture of ketchup maple syrup and cayenne pepper and red pepper flakes. It's a nice sweet savory and a little bit of a kick. All right. And while I was doing that, the dinger went off on my mic on my um, convection oven, and now the biscuits are done. Yay! So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven and get ready to make the mashed potatoes and put the can of peas in a bowl for the microwave. All right. Be back in just a second. All right, so I keep my water boiler up in here. I have two of them actually. One when I want to boil shrimp or cook shrimp, and then one for just regular water and my coffee. My buddy Sandy introduced me to this when he told me about it in his truck. So now we're going to add the water. This is my ice maker and uh, shiny 
We're gonna make the water and make some mashed potatoes. All right, so it's been a little bit over 20 minutes. I put it on for 40. So we're gonna check and see how it's going. As soon as I get my oven mitt on. Let's check this out. Let's see what we're looking like. What? Mm, mm, mm. Damn, that's hot. Careful now. Good. Dang, it's hot. All right, that's starting to look really good. All right, when the dinger goes off, it should be completely done. And then I can actually boil my water because once I started boiling it, because I had to do it on the floor because I didn't have any other space. Um, when I turned my water boiler on, the uh, inverter cut off because evidently the two together and everything else that's connected to it overpowered it, so it kind of just shut off. But I've got my mashed potatoes. Uh, yes, they are powdered. Uh, they're the Idahoan butterfly home, or butterfly <laughs> buttery home style. Now you know buttery doesn't mean buttery enough for me, so I'll be adding butter to that after the fact. Um, but these are really good. And one thing that I typically do is I look on the back of anything that uh, is processed food. I look on the back at the nutritional ingredients. Does that come into focus? If it do, if it will. Okay, or not. Anyway, the uh, I look at the cholesterol and the sodium content, and the sodium content is kind of high. It's at 18 percent. However, um, this is much quicker and easier, and that much sodium versus natural salt, it's not bad. And I've already got my butter and my peas waiting on the waiting to put in the microwave. Here's my microwave. I'm going to go ahead and take that apart. So I've got it tied on here because otherwise the microwave would bounce out while I'm going down the road. So I've got a string holding the belt together. Let's see if I can do this one handed. And then I have this piece of cardboard here because I don't want the metal of the belt to break the glass of the microwave. Okay, all right, and I've eaten one of the biscuits. Yes, I have. All right, so the dinger went off, straightened my hat, and now I'm gonna move the oven over to the bed, still on my cutting board because obviously the bottom is hot and I just don't wanna burn meat either. And then I still have to boil my water this properly or right way or the best way. Of course, since I can't get the wood caught, I'm doing something. Come on now. There we go. Good. <laughs> Killing me. Uh, all right, that's done. Yeah. Well, let's pull the meatballs out. See what we look like. So, there's the finished product. That sauce looks really good. My friend Lynn, uh, she taught me that if you put some maple syrup in there, it makes a, a flavor a bit better. But I actually enjoy a little bit of heat. So it's gonna, it's gonna be really good and I'm so excited. Um, I've got my peas in the microwave now. I'm gonna boil my water real quick and then make a plate. And I'll be right back. So I just put my water on the boil. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but it's starting to boil now. 
and uh, as soon as the water is finished boiling, you'll see steam here in a minute coming out of the spigot or out of the spout. This little light right here will go off once the water has reached temperature. All right, and then I'll pour it in here, stir it until I, to my liking of consistency, and then add butter, salt, and pepper. Just wanted you to see how good that water boiler works. I just plugged it in and turned it on just before I uh, started the video again. It gives you a pretty good understanding as to how quickly these things work. And it's only like, I think it was 20 bucks at Walmart. Um, so with that, I have this one and uh, one that I use for, like I said, shrimp or um, whatever else needs boiling. <laughs> oh, hard boiled eggs. That's what I do. I put hard boiled eggs in there and let it sit. Uh, the first time I did it, it kind of overflowed because I had too much water in there. I don't know if you can see the steam coming up. Alright. Just about there. And we're done. Alright, I'll be back as soon as I make my plate. And Viola, there she is. Now you can't tell me that you're gonna get a better looking dish at an iron skillet or country pride for cheaper than what I made that. That beef cost me five bucks, I think. The instant potatoes was part of a it's like a 24 pack that I got at Costco for eight bucks. So what's that? Break that down. 24 divided by eight, whatever. And then the can of peas, what, 80 cents? Yeah. So this meal might have cost me three bucks. Yeah, it took me a little bit of time. But this is so much healthier. And it's going to taste so much better than the stuff at Country Pride or uh, Iron Skillet. So, give you one last look before I dig in. This is the way I presented the plate. This is not how I will eat it. When I eat, everything gets mixed together on this. And it's, oof, make your tongue knock your brains out. I'm telling you. All right. Y'all have a great night. Thanks for tuning in. If you like my video, do me a favor, hit like, comment, leave me some suggestions on what to do, how to do it better, whatever, fix my hat, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm just getting started, everything's going to be tweaked, you know, every time I do this, so I get a lot of helpful hints from my brother and from my buddy Sandy. My brother Jason, he has a lot of knowledge about this stuff for some reason. He's one of those techie guys, I guess, uh, which he probably gets it from his son. But uh, anyway, hope you all have a great evening. I'm going to enjoy my dinner and then clean up. Love you, bud.